Hey, beer tours! It's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Back again in my parents' backyard on this uh, awesome Sunday here in Southern California. It's uh, it's about 70 degrees right now, so perfect weather for an IPA. And this is the first release that I'm aware of, I believe, in the bottles of the uh, 2011. This is Hoptimum from Sierra Nevada. It's, a, it's an IPA, a double IPA, I should say, all whole, whole cone hops. So they're not using any extra or pellets in this beer. And uh, I believe it's 10% ABV as well. So this one's 10.4% ABV. So let's get the appearance on this one. Very, very clear. Very orange. I mean, that's about as orange as you're going to get in a beer. Very clear. Good amount of carbonation. The two finger, slightly off white head. Definitely a lot of yellow tint in that head. Mostly small bubbles. Let's get the nose on it. It actually it smells it smells like a Sierra Nevada beer to be honest. Um, just get like that really kind of mild, uh, like cascade kind of aroma on it. So you get like some earthiness, uh, a little bit of pine, and some, and some grapefruit as well. So I'm not quite sure what varieties they're using, but for me it kind of smells like a lot like. Uh, Northern Hemisphere and the Estate Ale, very similar. A little malt in there coming through, a little uh, malty sweetness, but um, touch alcohol as well. So uh, let's dig in, give this one a try. Cheers. Mm, that's a big beer. Um, it, it, it's more bold on the flavor than it is on the aroma. The, the aroma was kind of kind of muted for uh, some double IPAs. So I don't know when they bottled this one. But it, it's tasting, tasting fresh. Got a good hop kick out front. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very bitter up front, but the, the malts come in halfway through smooth it out and actually a lot along with a lot of the, uh, the the malt right now at this temperature uh, it's only been out of the fridge maybe 10 minutes getting kind of like a caramel uh, malt background and then there's actually a good amount of alcohol kind of coming through with that malt too at the end it's a medium bodied beer has a little bit of a kind of like an oily quality to it as well so I don't I think I don't know if they're using their torpedo hop method for this one or not, I forget, but it's where they take, uh, instead of like just doing a normal dry hop, they uh, I think they take out fermenting wort and run it through just a big bed of hops and just keep circulating it through, and I think that really helps give it that kind of real intense uh, hop bite up front. Um, there's also a good amount of uh, a resiny character on this as well. You can tell it's been used with uh, whole leaf. It's just got that extra kind of resiny quality that you get with that kind of dry hopping method. I mean, it's a big beer. It's ten percent, but um, with the amount of hop character seems like maybe there's a. Uh, they use maybe like a lot of sugar with this one. I'm not sure to get it up to that high ABV because the, the malt backbone, it is there, but it's not like I thought it was going to be. I thought it was actually going to be a little more pronounced. Instead, I get like a, a lot more heat uh, with that 10.4%. So hop character-wise, kind of follows the nose. I think I mentioned it. Resiny, kind of earthy hop character. Pines in there. The grapefruit's very mild. You get much more on the aroma on this one. Yeah, there's there's definitely more alcohol than I, I prefer on this one. So as far as the grading goes with a hot um, for one, it's a very nice label. But um, I'm gonna go a B minus on this beer, which might seem a little harsh, but um, it's got way more alcohol present than some of the really nice double slash imperial IPAs have. Um, something like I just reviewed. The shoots hop hinge and that did have um, some alcohol bite to it but this one's much more prominent and those are almost about the same percentage 
the hop character is nothing special. It's nothing we really haven't tasted from Sierra Nevada. It's just like a boozier version almost of like Northern Hemisphere. But it is impressive that they're using these uh, whole cone hops because whole cone you get a lot less uh, bitterness extracted out of them than you would for from pellets. And of course extract is just pure hop character adding into the beer. So I give them a B minus because of, the, of that fact, the fact that it's a whole leaf hot beer and it's very hoppy up front. Um, if it wasn't whole leaf, it, this would be more like CC plus range. Um, but I gotta give them a lot of credit. It's very impressive that they're able to do this bitter of a beer from whole leaf hops at 10.4%. So go B minus for Sierra Nevada's Hoptimum. Um, buy a bottle now, try it. it I, paid about eight bucks for this I've seen it anywhere between eight to ten so it's worth trying once get it now while it's fresh it just came out early January um, but it's it's nothing special from Sierra Nevada I would like to see them do something a little more creative it's just like some of these different beers they're doing these IPAs they're just all starting to kind of meld together and it's kind of like drinking the same beer over and over and I, I kind of made this comparison they're kind of like the ACDC of, uh, of hoppy beers in that respect. So, until next time, guys, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.